He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Quickness is the essence of the war. Even the finest sword plunge into salt water will eventually rust. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Great results can be achieved with small forces. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. If quick, I survive. If not quick, I am lost. This is death. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Wheels of justice grind slow, but grind fine. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. Who does not know the evils of war cannot appreciate its benefits. Plan for what it is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. If you fight with all your might, there is a chance of life. Whereas death is certain if you cling to your corner. We cannot enter into alliances until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. When the outlook is bright, bring it before their eyes. But tell them nothing when the situation is gloomy. Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow decision to the releasing of a trigger. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. Rewards for good service should not be deferred a single day. If words of command are not clear and distinct, if orders are not thoroughly understood, then the general is to blame. But. If orders are clear and the soldiers nevertheless disobey, then it is the fault of their officers. Move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained. Fight not unless the position is critical. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night. And when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows. The soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Appear weak when you are strong and strong when you are weak. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you.